Welcome to another episode of 21 Indigenous Herbal Plants in 21 Days of the Lockdown with Usia. And today we're profiling the Takanontas Comfortaris, which is commonly known as the Comfort Bush. And in the Sikosa and the Zulu, it's known as Ukaepa Omkuru. We're going to be talking about it uh and, and 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 many aspects on how this tree can actually be used on our daily day-to-day uh, -day uses in, in in terms of it being herbal and uses within our environments and where you can actually find it in our landscapes and how you can actually grow it let's talk more about it The comfort bush, which is also known throughout the continent as the African wild sage uh, because of its uh, uh, foliage, which has got uh, grayish and uh, underneath the leaf has got a nice uh, prominent gray color and the green uh, is quite, uh, has a bit of, it looks as if it's hairy. So it's distributed in quite a number of landscapes um, in the Southern African region because you get uh, Takananthus towards forests, you get it in semi-desert areas, you also get it towards inland. So this is why you get uh, uh, to see it in areas or countries like uh, Namibia, Botswana, parts of Zambia, uh, uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa. In South Africa it, it covers uh, or it happens in so many provinces like the Northern Cape, Northwest, Free State, Gauteng and here uh, parts of, uh, of the Western Cape, especially in the in the coast side where it stabilizes a lot of dunes and it's been used in uh, in, 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 in ecological restoration projects where they is they establishing or stabilizing uh, uh, dunes it's also a darling in greening projects in the in the in the cape flats where we do quite a lot of uh, uh, work in terms of greening it's a tree that grows between 2 to 12 meters in optimum uh, climate conditions. But uh, here in the Western Cape, they grow more or less about 5 meters to 6 meters. Uh, it's a semi deciduous tree where I've seen quite a lot of them losing only 10% to 20% of their leaves. So basically, you, you hardly notice that it has lost leaves. It flowers throughout the year mostly and just have... Uh, uh, periods where it doesn't flower and then it will pick up with a nice cotton looking uh, uh, white flower which we're going to be going to right now. The comfort bush has got creamy white flowers that are covering the fruit and uh, the male and female flowers are on separate trees. The tea can be made from the leaves. The leaves can be chewed, smoked, taken as a snuff and they're slightly narcotic and the elderly women are in love with them. The plant is also used in the treatment of bronchitis, uh, for also for other chest alignments. Um, you can use them for tired legs, sore feet, problems with block sinuses, uh, headaches. You can bend the leaves with parts of the bark to take out uh, a migraine. And an infusion is also used in the treatment of stomach alignments, heartburn, asthma, and over anxiety. Also, a mixture of boiled water with leaves can also help influenzas, uh, treat coughs, abdominal pains. Um, and an essential oil is obtained from the leaves uh, that also helps uh, too much with cosmetics and dermatology with skin irritation. Uh, sunburns, bed sores, and all sensitive skin problems. I'm actually inside the comfort bush where we are now going to be talking about how do you propagate it. They grow quite well from seeds. As you've seen, the seeds are quite fine uh, as seeds, so you need to handle them with care. And um, they get blown away quite easily. So also bear in mind that you need a good well drain uh, a medium when you're sowing these seeds. And it will take you about uh, roughly 10 weeks, if not uh, a little bit more, depending on the season or if you've got a tunnel or not for them to actually germinate. They also grow quite well from uh, soft wood cuttings. Uh, where you, you apply a growing hormone and you put them also in a well-drained uh, medium uh, for cuttings. Uh, make sure that they're moist so that they callus and then after callusing then they, they produce uh, the, the roots. 
and then that's when you start to then transfer them into into bigger containers where you will then put them in a, in a, in a nursery and then you harden them off before they can be planted in any uh, a rehabilitation program or for commercial use or for yourself at home. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and thank you.